Well, when I first started, I was kind of practicing on the cars, and it was a character that was kind of a comic character that was the kind of butt of the jokes and uh, object of uh, uh, kind of ridicule and derision of uh, uh, a worker that was always messing up. And after all this practice, I'd start doing it in earnest, and I started on November the 11th, 1971. When it got to the Colossus Roads, I felt like that was the ultimate descriptive uh, phrase for that character. I was going to do a year of, of uh, Colossus Roads and, uh, and then transition into another character, but uh, I didn't come up with a satisfactory icon. And so, I mean, I was really pleased with how easily and quickly I could apply that one and how I could get them out so, so many of them that I stuck with it and then I went back to the day-to-day -day different uh, captions. Captions usually are uh, a reference to something that I have on my mind at the, at the time. When I first started, it was just uh, <clears throat> chalk and paint stick uh, graffiti, you know, it was, it was seldom never saw any spray paint in 71, you know, when I started. So prior to that, it was all all uh, just uh, rail worker and hobo chalking up, they call it, you know. They put the destination that they intended when they were hopping that they chalk put up where they were headed and all that on the train. Of course, they also had the, the, the tradition of marking up on the, on the water tanks and where, they, where they, in the olden days, uh, uh, steam locomotives that require a lot of water, you know, and, and they'd have a tank town every 30 or 40 miles where they'd have to take water to feed the steam locomotives. So, uh, they chalked up on on tanks, water tanks. That's where I see myself as more of a, in the following in the tradition of the hobo and rail worker chalk uh, and paint stick artists. I mean, I could be busted at any time and jeopardize my pension, but. What do you think the repercussions would be? I'm not certain. I mean, but you're supposed to be in good standing with your railroad company for them allow you to get on your pension when you become of age and that's my only drawback now I'm not quite of age so if I can make it one more year why well, maybe I can get out and escape the consequences of 30 uh, one years of marking the cars. I'm afraid it's really going to be a severe crackdown on it. I mean I think they're going to really start going full force trying to catch people and, and to slow it down because it is so pervasive and now and so and, uh, and so that's what I'm afraid is part of our we're going toward a more police state and more security minded and more uh, it's going to be harder and harder to, to do it you know it's going to be more police enforcement of trespassing. I um, hope they are aware of how dangerous it can be out on the, on the railroads. And, and uh, so uh, they need to be very careful if they're going to continue their practice of spraying the cars or being out on the railroads.